Good evening to all my wonderful viewers out there and welcome back to another drop list video, the series where I cover all the items that are releasing in a specific week for various different streetwear brands. And in today's video, we're going to be covering everything that is releasing in week one of Palace's Summer 2023 collection. Oh man, it's time. This video is going to be a long one. Week one is always the biggest week. I'm recording it at 10.30 at night on a week night. Oh, I'm sorry, on a work night. Show it some love. If you could show this video some love, that would be fantastic because that's going to be a really good motivator uh, waking up tomorrow with very little sleep as I stay up all night editing the subtitles. Editing it, it's going to be a wild ride. Damn, okay, let's get it done. <laughs> We've got a lot to talk about in this video. We've got the release details for week one. We've got uh, all the individual pieces for week one, which is going to be massive. Uh, we've got my thoughts and opinions on each of the pieces and my thoughts on week one as a whole. Now, what I'm going to be looking out for for week one is the big, heavy hitting pieces to make me remember the first week of the season. Palace delivers on that. I feel like it's a pretty successful week one. But, uh, well, let's get into it, guys. Summer, how are we going to cover week one? We're going to be using a Max Merch More Instagram post, like we always do. We'll head on over there now, and we'll start covering the release details for week one. And here we are at the Max Merch More Instagram post that we'll be using today to cover week one. It'll be linked down in that description section below if you want to check it out yourselves. We'll quickly dive into these release details. So, uh, mm. Okay, it says spring 23. Uh, it's summer, but we'll ignore that. <laughs> uh, week one expected full colorway drop list. All items will be releasing Friday, May the 5th. 2023 which checks out it is releasing this friday may 5th 11 a.m gmt time which as instagram has pointed out that's for great britain 11 a.m eastern standard time as it's pointed out it's for the us um estimated price list will be posted on the thursday evening i won't have time to cover that i never have time to cover that because i have to cover supreme dropping so if there's a specific item you want to know the price of if I can remember, and if I'm not too pressured for time, I'll try and get back to you guys in the comment section below as quickly as possible, and I'll check Max Merchmore's uh, next post to see the price for it. But um, no promises on that. I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible, but it's going to be a hectic next 48 hours for me with having to cover everything, so I'll try my best for you guys. But uh, yeah, that's all the release details that Max Merchmore has. There is some more. It is obviously dropping uh, on the 6th. It's dropping on the Saturday for Japan and China. Japan will get it 11 a.m. Japanese Standard Time in store and online. China will get it 11 a.m. via the WeChat store, which I think is Palace underscore Skateboards. Uh, I think that's the name of the WeChat store for them, but I'm a little bit shaky on that because no one's ever asked me. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's the release details for week one, guys. You know where to go. Alice Skateboards, hit it up 11 a.m. GMT or 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Or if you're in Japan and China the next day. But uh, yeah, now that we've covered the release details, we got to go through the mountain of pages for week one and see what we're going to be getting for the first week of the summer 23 season. All right, to start it off with, I'm noticing that page one, where's the Frisbee uh, varsity jacket? The dog catching the Frisbee. Maybe week one's already a flop. <laughs> well, no, maybe they're saving it for later in the season, but uh, yeah, okay, well, all right. They're starting it off with something a little bit different. Um, to start it off with, they've got the washed Terry half zip funnel coming in a black, mauve, and green. Very washed out cotton uh, funnel uh, sweatshirts here. Um, I don't know if I like the really, really washed out look. Like, they're okay, but... Yeah, it's not doing too much for me on that one. Next, we got the Palace Oxford shirt coming in a light blue and a multi. I definitely think the multi is speaking to me the most, but the blue is very solid as well. It's just really cool to see an Oxford shirt come in this like very patchwork color design. I actually quite like that. It could be a fun shirt to wear to work. Next, we have the Y Rip Stop Shell jacket coming in a black lime and steel gray. The steel gray is a nice color for that jacket, just not something that I would wear, but I could definitely see you guys picking it up. 
Uh, next we have the Aviator Jacket. Now, I thought this was only going to be in camo, looking at the lookbook. Uh, I thought it was only going to be camo, but they've done it in a black. And the black is quite nice. Whenever Palace does do nice work jackets like this, or nice workwear jackets, they hit, and it's quite nice there. Next we have the Gore-Tex S Light Jacket, coming in a black, coming in a orange, blue and grey. Uh, yeah, it's a nice little jacket. I, I, I highlighted the fact that I like the contrasting black zips all over it. Uh, yeah, I definitely think a lot of you guys will really enjoy a piece like that. The Gore-Tex pieces for me though, not really my type of thing. Last but not least, I noticed that we have another aviator jacket coming in a blue stone. Very nice color as well. Um, yeah, no complaints there. I think the aviator jacket is probably going to be my favorite piece on page one. But I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about your favorite piece on page one. And uh, yeah, we'll move on from here. Page two, which has a palace Oxford shirt coming in a soft white. It's, um, yeah, it's not too bad. I don't mind that. Uh, up next, we have the ultimate chill shirt in the tiger orange. I, I personally think they really fumbled the bag with this piece because on the back of it, it has this text in the lower back. And yeah, it, I, I think it kind of ruins it for me. Next, we have the same piece, but in a crystallized blue, but it has a very different graphic. This is what I was referring to as the ice cube shirt in the lookbook. And I like it. I'm just worried because it's also called the ultimate chill shirt that it's also going to have font on the back of it, which I really hope it doesn't. If it doesn't, that's a solid piece. But I think that is what ruins the orange one for me, is that font on the back that we saw in the lookbook there. Uh, next, we have the Ultra Relax Track Jacket, coming in a black, navy, and off-white. Solid color options. I'm just not a huge track jacket guy. It looks nice when you have the full ensemble of track jacket and matching pants, but yeah, just not for me. Next, we have the Palace, is it Drewers? jeans coming in a medium black rise uh, wash with it coming in a corduroy color i don't know if it's corduroy material but corduroy uh, brown corduroy i assume it must be in the material as well and then palace is also releasing it in a medium rinse wash as well very washed out look yeah look i love it in this very washed out light blue the black is quite nice as well it says um black rinse uh, wash and it says medium rinse wash um yeah sorry the rise on this thing i think that's where it took it away from me when i was trying to read out the title of it the rise on this that's so low look at that length between the waist and the bottom of the um the crotch area that is massive you are going to have so much room around there which to some maybe that'll give you that comfort that you've never found in jeans before but it's just such a massive silhouette. I love it though. I love it. I, I think it's awesome. You know, really thick legs and a really low rise. I, I'm a fan, but it just, it took me by such surprise when I was trying to read out the title. I was like, wow, that's crazy. Uh, yeah, I like it in the black. I like it in the blue. The brown corduroy, I just don't wear brown pants, really. Um, I stick to my black and my navy and my, my blues. <laughs> uh, next we have the Ultimate Chill Baggier Jean in Crystallized Blue. I think it's kind of cool that they did them on jeans, but I'm still going to stick to the shirt being my favorite. Oh, God. Next we got the pa uh, Palunkio. I, I, I don't know how to pronounce that. But anyway, jersey in the red. I thought that was hideous in the lookbook. It comes in a red. It comes in a blue. I will happily forget about that. That is gross. And last but not least, we have the current hood in crystallized blue, white, and navy. It's one of my favorite palace logos they've been using over the past couple of years. Featured in the center of one of their hoodies in multiple different colors. I'm here for it. I'm absolutely here for it. Big thumbs up from me on that one. My favorite piece on page two. Uh, it's probably going to go to those jeans, man. They really caught me off guard. It's kind of it's really cool to see that like really low uh, rise silhouette there. I think that's I think that's really cool. So yeah, big thumbs up for me on those jeans on page two. Page three, we move into more current hoods, which I'm absolutely a fan for. Love it in the grey, love it in the black. Next, we have the Bossy P3 Crew coming in the Ultra uh, Mauve. Uh, this is a Palace Crew Neck with a Triferg logo on the back of it uh, with the letters really embossed and uh, really, you know, 
I, I guess, really textured, like you can really feel them um, because they're embossed. Uh, yeah, like I feel like we have seen this before though. Like this is maybe they did it on a hoodie a couple seasons ago, and this is the first time they're doing it on crewnecks. I honestly can't remember. It's fine though. Like I like that it's tonal, no issues with it. Comes in a green spritz, a grey, a flexi blue, and a white. Oh, and a black. It comes in all the color offerings you could ever need. Um, no dramas for me on that one. It's an okay crew neck. Next we have the City Stripper t-shirt coming in an ultra red, black, and white. Uh, you can miss me with that. Uh, next we have the Cord Beach trousers coming in a mojito, a navy, and a soft white, which they're okay as well. Cool to see corduroy pants that are quite baggy. I guess whenever I see corduroy pants, they're always quite form fitting. Um, and yeah, I, I, it's nice to see that kind of material being used in a wider silhouette for the wider fellas. And yeah, no complaints on that one. I think I'm going to say my favorite piece on page three is going to go to the current hood in the gray. I could see myself wearing that um, quite a bit because I love my gray hoodies. So yeah, awesome piece there for page three. Page four, we're moving into more cord beach trousers coming in the ultra mauve. That's a very nice color on those pants though. Not something that I would probably wear, but I can just respect that that's a nice color offering there. Next we have the aviator trousers and the matching trousers to the flight jacket we saw before. They come in a black, blue stone, camo, and yeah, that's it. Um, yeah, they're nice pants. I, I wouldn't buy them to get with the matching jacket. I would be happy with just the jacket. Next we have the Y rip uh, stop shell jacket, uh, shell joggers, sorry. Coming in the lime, black, and steel gray, solid. Next we have the So Far Sweat Shorts in uh, the ultra blue, the short um, coming in the lime, the black, the gray, the green, the white, the black, the gray, oh no, that's, that's a different one. Wow, there's so many different, oh no, they are different uh, pants there, I didn't see that, so they're mixed in. We got the so far and the Y ripstop uh, coming in the sh in the short sh uh, in the shell short lime, uh, yeah. Okay, two different short silhouettes there. Minor detail changes there. The so far ones will just be a simple cotton ones, while your Y ripstop ones will be more of a nylon based. Um, you probably want to go nylon to be more comfortable over time, or if you're planning on doing exercise in them. But if you're just looking for just like some easy shorts to wear, you could go with the so far ones. But all in all, these shorts, just looking at how they're cut, are quite high up. I like mine at like knee length. Like I'm a knee length kind of guy. These are these look like active wear shorts with how high up they are. And uh, yeah, I can't imagine myself buying palace shorts to do uh, exercise in them. <laughs> but each to their own, each to their own. Uh, that is everything on page four now, I think we're on. I honestly am losing count at this point. Uh, geez, what's my favorite piece? I guess the so far sweatshorts in the black, there wasn't much on this page that I was, um, yeah, that I'm really feeling mainly because it's just filled with so many pants. Page five, we have the ultra relaxed trousers um, with a pleat coming down them uh, in the center there, coming in an off white, a navy and a black. They look very comfortable, very wide. Uh, yeah, I could get around something like that. Next we have the so far crew neck coming in the same colors as the shorts. We have it coming in a green, soft white, gray, black, ultra, huntsman, and that is it. Uh, oh no, sorry, that's the huntsman isn't one. Yeah, just the ultra for the last color there. Yeah, it's a simple little palace crew neck with a little trifurc logo on the left breast. Nothing too crazy about it. Continuing on with the simple palace designed pieces, we have the basically a long sleeve coming in the huntsman, the mellow yellow, the ultra blue, the gray, the black, and the white. Uh, yeah, if you just want like a simple palace long sleeve that just features a tiny embroidered logo, this is your go-to. They release them all the time. Uh, it's a solid little piece for sure. But uh, yeah, nice color offerings for it at least. And last but not least, we have the Tri Twister t-shirt coming in a black. I don't know why we're putting balloon animals on a uh, t-shirt with palace, but okay, sure, 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 sure. Uh, okay, well, I think I'd have to say that my favorite piece releasing this week uh, from page five would be probably the so far crew neck in the black, and then I could have the shorts and the crew neck uh, to match. But yeah, again, this uh, this fifth page is kind of eh on the offerings for me. 
Next we move into page six, which just looks like a bunch of balloon animals on various different palace shirts. <laughs> okay, so we got the Tri Twister t-shirt coming in a white, Huntsman, Regal Purple, uh, Mocha, Mellow, Yellow, Navy, and Grey. You can, I, I don't want balloon animals on my shirts. I noticed that the balloon animals change depending on the color as well, but like, okay, okay. Next we have the Blissed Out t-shirt coming in a white, regal purple, mellow yellow, Huntsman, black, mocha or mocha. Um, it's just a weird graphic shirt with that one. It looks better on the all over print, I gotta say. Next we have the um, Alfresco t-shirt coming in the Oatmeal and the Regal Purple. Oh, even page six. I honestly don't know what to pick. Um, I guess like the Blister, Blist Out t-shirt in the black or the white, but oh man, page six is um, not hitting, like all these goofy balloon animal shirts and stuff. Yeah, I think I'm gonna stick out with the, stick with the Blist Out t-shirts for page six. Next we got more Al, uh, Alfresco t-shirts coming in a mellow yellow, a mocha, a white, and a black. Eh, they're alright. Next we got the Palace Daru's Jinko. So judging from this, I don't know, I guess Daru, uh, Daru's, Daru's um, is a jeans brand, judging from the jeans that were coming out before. So maybe that's why the silhouette was so different from normal Palace jeans. Uh, if that's the case, I wouldn't be keen on the t-shirts, but definitely the jeans that we saw before is uh, definitely more of a highlight. But um, yeah, just thought I'd mention that now that we have a look at that. But uh, yeah, we'll keep pressing on. That comes in a couple colors. Next, we've got the Y Ripstop Shell Bucket Hat. This is to match the jacket and pants that we've seen so far. Oh, sorry, the shorts that we've seen so far. Uh, yeah, not for me. Oh God, what is this? this what is this <laughs> oh man oh man oh man okay okay we got the pal pal palunikio neck saver runner nicer blue hideous no we got it coming in the black the black's nicer but it's still a no next we got the palace new era al alstafan alstafan 5950 navy Okay, and then it comes in a sand as well. Just whack hats on this page, man. Whack hats. What is this on page six? Like, um, I guess I'll go with like the Palace Drews T-shirt in um in the white here, just because yeah, it's just getting wacky and insane at this point. <laughs> um, we'll press on and have a look at the next page. Next we got the hat that we just saw before coming in a black with the contrast stitching on the brim and that graphic there. You can miss me with that. Next we got the P6 panel ultimate chill hat or in the coral, white, brown, navy or black. I think the simple colors, nice. I think the chill color, not so much. Uh, next we got the Palace Daru 6 panel. This is nice. I like the font on this. Uh, looks nice in the navy and the white. Yeah, that's a good piece. Next we got the lowercase wash denim six panel. I like this in the indigo and the black because mainly because it's one of my favorite palace logos as of late. And next we have the basically a tote in a white as well. So if you want basically a tote bag, a very simple tote bag with a palace logo on it. Yeah, this is your go. Uh, this page is definitely speaking to me a lot more. I like the P six panels and the uh, palace de Ruse six panel and the lowercase wash denim one. That's nice, but uh, yeah, definitely a better page than the past couple, for sure. Up next, we got the basically a tote, which uh, features again in the white, which we already saw, but okay, maybe it's just the other side of it, I don't know. <laughs> next, we have the collab that is releasing in week one, which is the Polaroid collab. Um, you get the Polaroid Now Instant Camera Generation 2 coming in a black. This is a custom one with custom branding, custom box, custom uh, Polaroids as well, I think. It's got everything, it's got everything. I think it has a Triferg on it somewhere on it as well. Uh, yeah, pretty crazy. I think that's really cool to see Palace do something like this. It's a fun accessory. It's the most sought after piece from week one, I think. Everyone's asking what the retail is on that. Uh, yeah, pretty crazy piece. Next we move into the Palace uh, Winmo Fallen Angels dartboard. 
I bet you this was meant to release last season, but they couldn't get it produced in time because that is a graphic we saw in the last season, in the spring season. I bet you that's what happened. Anyway, there we go. We've got the Palace sliders coming in a wine and a gray. I reckon they're going to be quite popular as well. Interesting color options they chose for them though. Um, wouldn't be my first. Uh, next we got a summer sticker pack we got the palace whammo triferg frisbee in the multi that's a fun frisbee that's nice we got the palace hoop earrings gold plated i saw these in someone's ears and they looked very nice on her when she was wearing them so yeah crazy that they're doing hooped earrings but they look nice they look nice when they have them in uh that is everything on this page guys i think i'd have to say my favorite piece is going to go to the pol uh, polaroid camera i'd love to take some palace polaroids that'd be a good time uh yeah let me know what your favorite pieces are but on this page but i reckon you're probably going to agree probably the polaroid camera last but not least we have the startup pin badge uh with the palace logo there we've got the triferg stress ball in the wine and yellow i love that i want it in the wine just a squishy triferg and you'd catch me just like squeezing it mid video and stuff man i would love that that would be such a fun accessory to have uh especially here in my room just like chilling while doing a video <laughs> doing the stress triferg uh you know squashes there and last but not least, we of course have the Fallen Angels darts to go along with the dartboard, but maybe they're sold separately because it kind of looks like they're showcased separately, at least here. But uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to say my favorite piece on this last page is the stress ball. But uh, yeah, guys, that is it. That is everything releasing in page one. As we can see, there's no further pages. Whew. Well, that was a lot to cover. My voice is, is almost gone and it's uh, well past 11 p.m. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. I like the stress ball. I like the Polaroid camera. I like the Frisbee. The tote bag's a fun time. It comes in two colors, a white with a blue or a white with a red. Um, I like some of the hats that are releasing in week one. The t-shirts very few i like most of them are just a bit too goofy for me the long sleeve long sleeves and crew necks they're the just like the essentials for the week one the pants and shorts i feel like are not for me but they would work really well if you're buying the matching jacket for any of these for example if you're getting the ripstop ones if you have the jacket it'll look nice with it if you would get the aviator trousers it's gonna look nice with the jacket so on and so on um these t-shirts were wacky. This crew neck, I feel like we've seen this design before. The current hood was awesome to see. I like that, I like that piece. Um, the relax track jackets were quite nice as well. I really like the Palace de Ruse jeans. They're probably my favorite, most understated piece in this uh, week. And then moving to the first page, I'd have to say that, um, yeah, I like the Oxford shirt. The Oxford shirt and the aviator jacket were quite nice. Those were two nice pieces there for week one. But uh, yeah, all in all, um, not the most craziest week one that I have ever seen. Um, there's only a couple pieces which are absolutely horrendous this week, which I think is like the ultimate chill shirt. And uh, these pieces and the matching hat for it are just so bad. Um, but yeah, I feel like you, there's got to be at least a piece here for everyone, but I wouldn't put this up here as like the best week one of all time. But um, I can definitely get around some of the pieces for sure. I won't be buying anything as I have bought myself a piece of First Arrows jewelry recently, which is being made for me. So uh, we've got I've got to wait for that. So no picking anything up for me. But I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions on week one. Um, is it a yes from you? Is it a no from you? Are the pieces releasing in week one a hit or a miss? Let me know down in that comment section below. Well, that is everything releasing in week one of Palace's Summer 2023 collection, at least as Max Merchmore has put it. Um, yeah, uh, I've, I'm not super excited for week one now that i've seen it all um there's nothing that wow, the problem is is that there was nothing in the lookbook that got me really excited besides the varsity jacket there's nothing in week one that's got me super excited for um summer 23 in general i think i'm gonna have to see a turnaround in like week two or something to really get me excited for this season because so far i haven't seen much which is um yeah really really got me going for it but um 
And maybe you guys feel very differently, you know, maybe you want to pick up like half of week one or something like that. Maybe you like half the accessories. I'd love to hear your thoughts. What are you grabbing from week one? Is it some of the accessories? Is it some of the jackets? Is it some of the tees? Let me know what you're going to be picking up down in that comment section below. And of course, if you guys want me to keep covering upcoming Palace releases, upcoming Palace collabs, upcoming Palace seasons, you gotta give me the three indicators I always ask you for, which is a like on this video, a comment in that comment section down below, and the best indicator of them all, is subscribe to the channel. As mentioned in previous uploads, we're trying to hit the subscriber milestone of 3,630 subs for the end of the month. We are less than three subs off from hitting that subscriber milestone. So hopefully with your guys' continuous support, we can reach 3630 before the end of May. Well guys, that's everything I got to say about it. It's releasing this Friday, the 5th or the 6th if you live in Japan and China. We covered all the individual pieces on it. Um, yeah, I, and we covered how I felt about it. It's it's an okay week one, but it's nothing that is gonna, you know, I'm, I don't feel like I'm gonna remember week one for being like, wow, that was the week that dr this dropped, you know? I'll be like, eh, okay. But again, we'll all feel differently about it. If you are going for something from week one, I hope you're able to pick it up in the size and color you are after. But until the next Streetwear Talk video, until the next drop list video, until the next Palace Skateboards video in general, guys, I'll catch you later.